that are still relatively clean. Um, looking deep into the spark plug, that carbon that was still on the ceramic, really deep down in, is starting to recess. That line is starting to become down a little bit, indicating that we are definitely optimizing everything. Um, I haven't noticed any spotting, any peppering, any metallic tinge on the spark plug yet. However, I suspect that we're probably gonna get there pretty close this next pull, maybe the last time we can really add some spark timing, um, just kind of basing on where that burn ring is going when I'm looking at my ceramic deep down in the spark plug. So once that kind of recesses all the way down and it looks like a clean white, the, the, the ceramic is nice and clean and white all the way down in, that's gonna be the point where we're probably gonna be seeing on pump gas, when we start to notice some peppering on the spark plug and we are going too far. So let me jump in here, F10, let's stop this. I'm gonna jump into my high cam and I'm gonna go here on my higher boost levels. I'm gonna add three more degrees of timing and jump in here and let's go ahead and add just one. Here at column nine, I'll add just one. Now my kind of my rule of thumb here, uh, looking at a timing map when I'm sort of evaluating everything for nine to 10 to one compression motor, normally here at column 10, around zero PSI, when I have my spark timing, usually my, my, my benchmark is about anywhere from 26 to 30 degrees, um, depending on what kind of engine I'm using. If I'm on a D-series engine, I'm gonna be lower, probably more toward like 26. If I'm on an H-series engine, probably more towards 30. On a B-series, right around 28 here. Um, we're not gonna be able to use that kind of same kind of logic here on the low cam operation, but on the high cam, we definitely are gonna be able to use that. So um, just a point of reference, if you're kind of looking at your spark timing ascending from this column and going over into boost, you should see they decrease, but I usually shoot for about 28 degrees right there. Um, looking at this now, we should see that our timing, we're in this range, we should see it's gonna be about anywhere from maybe 12 to 11 degrees of timing. Let's actually jump in here. Let's look at where our spark timing went to in that last pool, about nine. So we should see it go up to about 11, 11, 12, and we'll see where we're at. And if we um, keep going up here, we might find that the boost actually levels out. It stops, to, it stops creeping, we can find Right here, it actually started to stop uh, going up to 20 and a half. It only went to about 18 right there. So we'll see if the, the boost calms down a little bit. We're probably not gonna be able to do a whole lot with the boost by gear. I'm gonna uh, give you an illustration of the uh, quick spool feature and how we can make the spool up a little bit quicker on this vehicle. We're not gonna be able to rev it much higher. Um, 84, 85 hundreds, we're revving it to, we're already out of fuel. We can see on the top end of the table here, we're at basically 100% duty cycle, 98, and I don't really wanna run it up that high. And I'll, probably actually put a rev limiter at 8,000 on this because of that particular issue. Um, we can still see we have good air fuel. Um, we just simply don't have enough fuel to deliver here. So let me go in here and I'm gonna go F10. I'm gonna get online. And then we see our cool temp correction here is 1%, that's fine. I'm gonna go here, make sure my dyno is in its run mode. All right, and F9, let's start our log and do a pull and see where we're at here. Now, before I do the pull, one last thing. And the uh, previous uh, time where we shut it down, I went in and I increased that coiled well. I pretty much maxed the coiled well. So I did not gap the spark plugs when I was out uh, checking them. I wanna see if I can optimize that. We saw we had those two little lean blips that indicated we had misfire. Um, so by increasing the dwell, we should increase the spark energy and hopefully it's gonna be a much cleaner pull now. So we'll see what we have. F10. Now, what I saw right there, it only went to about 16 pounds of boost. So we can see we're about 